All right, let's get going to this. Uh, hopefully you'll have enough time. There's only three questions tonight on the assignment, so, okay. Okay, here you go. I threw a for, an old formula we've done already this unit up there. Anybody know what that is, formula finds? Measure of an arc times 360 times its circumference. That is an arc length one, yes. That is our arc length formula, how to find the length of an arc. Now, we're gonna run into a problem today because the number that goes here is gonna be in what type of units? Remember how to find the measure of an arc? That's always in degrees. And we found out yesterday there's another way to measure an arc and, or an angle and that's in what? Radians. So what I'm trying to tell you is if I give you the angle or the arc in radians, this formula is no good anymore because this measure has to be in degrees. We all remember that. This measure has to be in degrees. So if you know it's in radians, that's going to be kind of tough for us. So that's what I want to discuss today is, well, there's my arc formula if I'm using degrees, but what if I'm using radians now? Okay, what if I'm using radians? And here is the formula if you're using radians to find the length of an arc. And I'll tell you what all this means in a second. Theta equals S over R. And we'll discuss what all three pieces mean right now. Okay, everyone ready? Theta, that's your angle measure. And in this case, it's got to be in what type of units? Well, that's for degrees. But if I need to use this one, that must mean my angle's in radians, right? Okay. Uh, I think you guys can guess R. We're in a circle, remember? Radius length. And S now, and I have no idea why mathematicians decided on S, that is the arc length. That is the one we need to try to find, the arc length. And since most of the time you are finding the arc length, some people like to use this next formula, which is already solved for S. Can you guys do something to this formula to solve for S, get S all by itself? You guys are at that level now. How do I get S by itself? Multiply both sides by R. So S equals what? Theta R, if you'd rather remember that formula instead. Both of them are the same. Please realize that. Soar, some people say. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's start using. So again, one last thing. Hey, one last time. This is the formula I use if my angle's in degrees, if I'm using degrees, or if I'm using radians, I use theta equals S over R or S equals theta R, whatever one you prefer. All right, so let's actually use this. So find the arc length. So I'm thinking to myself on a test or quiz or on the homework. Okay, arc length. I have two formulas, one for degrees, one for radians. What's this angle in? Well, it says pi over three. It's got a pi with it. And I know from yesterday, if it's got a pi with it, it's in what type of units? Radiant, radian units. Yes, everyone all right? Yeah. Radian, if it said 53 degrees, then it'll be degrees. But this is pi over three. That signifies I'm in radians. So I probably, you want to use the formula. Which one do we want to use as a class? S over R or, o or, or theta R? I don't care. How many people want to use S over R? Theta R? Okay, let's go. Ready? So the arc length is equal to theta, the angle measure, times the radius. And again, I can only use this formula if the angle's in. Radians. If it's in degrees, I'll use the one I showed you on Tuesday. So the arc length is going to be S equals, what's my theta here? Angle measure. Pi over 3 times radius. 5. What are the directions asked for? Nearest hundredth. Okay, so I can type all of it into my calculator. It does say nearest hundredth. If it said in terms of pi, I'd leave the pi there, but... And 
I won't ask. 5.24? Anybody not getting that on your calculator? I just need to show you. Use your fraction template, easiest way. 5.24 centimeters. Make sure your units are on there. All right, here we go. Find the arc length S right here, the length of this arc. Okay, again, the angle, 10 pi over 9, is that degrees or radians? Radians, and you're asking me to find the arc length, so I need to use S equals theta R. So S equals 10 pi over 9 times the radius of 27. And what are we getting up here? 94.25 meters. Are we okay here? Questions? When do you use what formula? Use the one from Tuesday when the angle's in degrees. Use the one right now when it's in radians. Okay. Can I find other things other than the arc? You're darn right. Now I want to find theta, which is the angle. And then it says, I don't know if some of you guys are getting nervous as you read, express your answer in both radians and degrees. Oh my, oh my God, I have to use both formulas? No, no, because you guys did what yesterday? When you find radians, can you put it in degrees for me? If you find degrees, can you put it in radians? Yeah, you can. So I don't need to use both formulas here. I can just find one and convert it. All right, now you guys can tell me, I'll go back a slide here, or two, which one's probably an easier one to deal with here? Less work, yeah, the theta, S equals theta R, the one you guys wanted to work with, which is fine. You could use either one, but I think this one's a little easier because it's got less going on. All right, it's not as high maintenance as the other one. All right, so S equals theta R. All right, now I'm going to start hearing from you guys. Uh, who's got six? Six? All right. Uh, what was the S again referring to? The arc length. What's the arc length given here? Eight pi. The length of the arc is eight pi. We are solving for the angle, theta. And Nick, my radius, 16. What do you want to do on both sides to solve for theta now? Uh, five. Okay. This is just a variable, Mike. I'm trying to solve for it. It's being multiplied by 16. So I want, how do I get rid of the 16? Yeah, you're right. Be confident. Divide by 16. Uh, there are no rounding directions, so can we keep it in terms of pi? Keep it in terms of pi for me, because we are solving for radians, right? So theta equals, you guys want to reduce that for me real quick? Pi over, pi over 2. And since we use this formula, is this angle in radians or degrees? Radians. Now convert it to degrees, because that's the second half of this question. What is pi over 2 in degrees? So if you need to refer back to your reference sheet, please do. What do you have to multiply pi over 2 by? Oh, actually, let me just ask somebody individually. Okay, 8 on your reference sheet. To go from, settle down, go from radians to degrees. Now you can go. What do I have to multiply pi over 2 by? 180 over pi, good, because you want those pies to cancel out.
So theta is going to be equal to pi over 2 times that conversion on your formula sheet, 180 over pi. Pi's cancel each other out. And in degrees, that angle measure is, here you go, 13? Nope. How about 10? 90 degrees. So in degrees, it's 90. In radians, it's pi over 2. Any questions? All right, let's go to the next one. I guess we'll still keep using the radians formula, right? It's a little bit easier to deal with. Okay, my S value on this one. Eight, what's my S value? Arc length, 15 pi over seven equals the angle theta I'm looking for times radius Nick, which is five. And on both sides, what are you looking to do here on both sides? Number one, what am I looking to do? Not here on both sides. How about 13? Not here. Great. How about five? Same question, Mike, right? Divide by five. Anybody getting nervous right here? No, Emma, you're not getting nervous? You're a stud? Okay, here's, here's a quick answer for you. This is going to be in radians. You always should have a pi in there, right? So in your calculator, 15 sevenths divided by 5. Remember, you're going to, because your answer is in radians, you're going to have a pi in your answer. So now in your calculator, get your fraction template out. 15 sevenths over 5. What do we end up with? 3 pi over 7, yep. And that's in what type of units? Radians, convert it to degrees now. You guys know the conversion off your formula sheet. Convert it into degrees now. 3 pi over 7 is what in degrees? And can you leave, let's go nearest tenth, because I know this is going to come out to be a decimal. Nearest tenth here. About how many degrees to the nearest tenth? What do you end up with? 77.1, yep. Before I move on to the word problems, are we okay on when to use what formula? If given radians, you got to use S equals theta R. If given degrees, you use the formula we used on Tuesday. If you get a choice, probably want to use this one because it's less involved. All right. All right, a little word problem. The pendulum of a clock, and every year I get c confused looks, so I'm prepped this year already for you. Here you go. Pendulum. All right, of a clock. All right, pendulum. Okay. So there you go. That's what we're talking about here. Swings through an angle of 2.5 radians. All right. Uh, I'm just going to make a quick circle here so I can visualize what this is going to look like. So I have an angle of 2.5 radians. No pi, just 2.5 radians. And right there, that automatically signals you're probably going to use theta equals, I mean, excuse me, S equals theta R because it's already in radians. And what else, what's that 50 pertain to here? That's my arc length because it says it travels through an arc of 50 centimeters. Find the length of the pendulum. 
What's another name geometrically here in the circle, the length of the pendulum? Here's the pendulum going through 50. Arc length of 50 and angle of 2.5. There's the pendulum. There you go. See it? Boom. That's another name for the radius. Yeah. So what's the radius length? And I apologize if I'm sounding like a broken record, but what's your angle in here? Because this involves arc length. So I got two formulas to choose from. What's my angle measurement in? Degrees or radians? Radiant, so I know I got to use S equals theta R. Arc length? 50 equals theta, we know, 2.5 times R, the radius, the length of the pendulum, which is what we're trying to find. And what are you coming up with for that one? 10, what do you got for me? Uh, 20, centimeters. 20 centimeters. Thank you for the units. Whew. We're almost there. Ready to roll. Next one. Ooh, in a circle. Love these. Review from day two. Central angle. Vertex is the center of the circle. So make an angle right now where the vertex is somewhere on the center. What's the measure of that angle you're drawing right now? 3.5 radians. Ding, ding, ding. We know what units we're in. Intercepts an arc whose length is 24.5. That's my arc length, 24.5 centimeters. Ooh, changed it up on you here. Find the diameter. Diameter. Go ahead, Emma. <laughs> Sorry, Emma, for doing that to you earlier. Yeah, you, you have enough info to find the radius and then double it at the end. Because right now, I know S equals theta R, because I'm given the unit, the units are radians. Arc length, 24.5. Theta, 3.5. Yeah, you can find the radius and do a little something something with that. And what did you guys find as your radius length? Seven, so the diameter would be 14 corn shackles, oranges, centimeters. All right, that was a good session there. I, I, I have a I feeling I'm going to, let me just start this one here with you on the homework, even though I know you only have three of them. All right, because you guys, I know heads may be spinning on this one, first part here, so let me just go through this one with you, because you see degrees and radians. You're like, ah, I don't know. Fifth, this, this bad boy moves 15 degrees every hour. How many hours is it going to take to move 8 pi over 5 radians? Well, I know it goes 15 degrees every hour. But now they're asking me for radians, and I've heard a couple people chime in. What's a good idea maybe to do with 8 pi over 5? So we're all talking about the same units here. Convert it to degrees. And how do I do that? 
How do I take 8 pi over 5 and convert it into degrees? Multiply it. What's on the formula sheet? I got it. 180 over pi. So how many degrees are in 8 pi over 5 radians? 288. And now how can I find how many hours now? Divide it by 15 degrees. Yep. So it takes about 19.2 hours. And I'm going to let you guys just grind out the rest of it. All right, work with each other, move around if you need to. Call me over if you need some assistance. All right. Make sure it's in the correct units that it's asking for.